Okay, so in this short clip, I'm going to talk about the three biggest mistakes that people make during dedicated prep prior to their USMLE, okay? And when I, when I say dedicated, are we talking two weeks out, six weeks out, eight weeks out? Two weeks, okay? Your final two weeks, what are the three biggest mistakes people make that if you don't make these fucking mistakes, you're going to score a lot higher, okay? So number one, biggest mistake people make. Actually, before I even get into the first point, just allow me to be an asshole and tell you to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And give the video a thumbs up, okay? Really, really appreciate it. Now, the first mistake people make is they do not focus on the NBME material assiduously enough prior to their exam. I have made lots of content on this. I've discussed how the real USMLE questions are exactly the same as the NBME ones, okay? So if you memorize offline forms 1 through 19, you're going to see repeats all over 20 through 30. You memorize 20 through 30, you're going to see repeats all over the real deal, okay? For step two, you want to memorize NBME 6 through 11, as well as the clinical mastery series forms, all the NBME subject specific forms. The repeats are all over the real deal. The questions are exactly the same. It's not speculation. It's not my opinion. Okay. It's not subjectivity. Objectively, the questions are exactly the same. And if you memorize that material, you screenshot all of your incorrects from 20 through 30 into a Word document, save as a PDF slash PowerPoint, and you review those incorrects your scores are going to go a lot higher on the real deal. Once again, I've made lots of content on this stuff. I'm not going to spend 45 minutes talking about it right now. We're going to stay concise here. The second mistake that people make during dedicated, and this is sort of a fusion point from the first one, is students will make the mistake of focusing too much on UWorld right up to their exam, okay, at the expense of the NBMEs. Now look, I understand that people get very emotionally invested in New World. That's an observation of mine, okay? Students get very heated and ignited about any type of modification of how they're going through New World, okay? When I start saying things such as, you're two weeks out, waste of fucking time right now going through New World, you need to focus on the NBME content, people get very heated, okay? So, but that's incredible value for you because... If you focus on the NBME content, your scores are going to shoot up, okay? That's where you need to invest your time, not fucking UWorld in the final two weeks. The UWSAs are different. You could use those use those for score prediction, but I'm talking about you don't want to be doing QBank during the day, uh, focusing on UWorld subjects during the day, but meanwhile, you're going to tell me you don't have time to go through offline forms 20 through 24 for step one, okay? so. Mistake to focus on UWorld too late. The real exam is not UWorld. The real exam is the NBME exams. So the third mistake people make, and this is more of a softer one, is not taking designated breaks. You are gunner. Yes, you want your 260, 270 plus. But recognize that if you block out actual time, you say, I am going to study from 9 to 6 p.m., and then, yes, I am going to go to the gym, have dinner with family, housemates, watch a movie at night. I have permission, okay? You have permission to take breaks. As long as you have an 8 to 10 hour study day, that is good for dedicated prep. There is a saturation threshold you will reach. So just have the mental alleviation that I'm communicating that you have permission to take breaks, and that's not going to be deleterious to your ultimate score, okay? So the short recapitulation here, the mistakes people make, not focusing on the NBME content enough. Number two, focusing on New World too much right up until the actual exam. And number three, not allowing themselves to take breaks. And then the result is that when they actually do study, they get ADHD because they really need that break. You know the deal. I'm going to continue producing more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.